What's up guys, this is your boy Z-Man, here to bring you part 3 of our Super Mario Bros. 3 Let's Play. In the last part, we got started on World 2, the Desert World, and this part we're hopefully going to beat it. But first, let's go ahead and do this mini game. Please let me actually do this one right for once. Come on, oh we're so close, I can do this, I can do this. Now. Come on. No! No! That's not how that's supposed to work. Alright, whatever. Here we go. We're going into World 4. And I'm gonna cheat right now and use a P-Wing, because it's... This This is what I like to do. You get you get treated to that awesome, you know, uh, amazing noise. But it's worth it, because it allows you to make your way up here very easily. And up here is a freaking treasure trove of coins. And it's a lot better to do it like this with a P-Wing than it is to try to get the freaking leaf or anything like that. I know this isn't the way you're supposed to do it, but it's the way I enjoy doing it. I don't know. I, th I just think it's a lot better this way. Plus, these coins are very, very helpful. You're gonna get an extra life by doing this. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And there's freaking flying turtles. I don't even know where these flying turtles even come from sometimes. I mean, there's not much to say about this level. If you go the correct way, it's a lot more challenging, obviously, because, you know... how oh, I lost a extra coin there. Alright, there should be a P-block right there. We can get all these now. This is gonna be close. Oh, I missed a couple of them. Alright, that's that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I got most of the coins. But yeah, this thing is a freaking coin treasure trove. Well, we've got ten coins. There's even more coins for us to get. But yes, this P-Wing is basically allows you, if you're in a flying mode, you're always, you're always at the top of the P-Meter. And there it is! Three stars! Give me my five one-ups, baby! Yeah! Look at those one-ups go! That's how you do it. Get the five, get the three star cards, and now we get to take on this dude. Unfortunately, the P wing only lasts for one level, so once you beat that level, the P is gone. You just, you're just left with the wing, and we get a hammer, a hammer, yay, yay. Oh, now what the hammers do? I can't go over that way yet. Uh, you see these rocks over here? These rocks can be broken using the hammer. If you click the hammer. You're allowed to break this rock whenever you're next to it. I am not going to do that because there's no point in breaking that rock right now. This level is the pyramid level. Basically, you're going underground. Now, for this level, I suggest you're, you either have a tail or you are small. Don't do both. There's no reason to do both. Don't do it. Not both. What am I thinking? Both. Don't be big. Don't be big without a tail. It's too hard to be big without a tail on this level. I want to kill that guy. Um, if you're small, all you have to do is grab these things right here and kick them at the blocks. It'll break the block and... Come on, tail. Come on, tail. Well, if you do want to be small, if you do want to be big, you can always do the special slide. And if you notice right here, there's a pipe. How the heck do you get to this pipe? Oh, there's a hidden block right there. There's actually a little discoloration. You notice how all these dots on the background are uh, kind of a orangish color. The dots that are on that block were actually white, if you didn't notice that. Alright, so we got a P block here so we can get all these coins. Oh, I lost a coin. Go, 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 go. We can get all these coins except for two. Alright, that was pretty decent. Oh, we're not going to get all these coins now, because I screwed up. That's alright. We don't, we don't need all those coins. We've already got 51 bucks. And that'll take you out right here. It skips part of the level, but it's not like it's that big of a part to skip. And I love all those, all those buzzy beetles. They can walk on walls only until we get close to them, and then they have to uh, turn turn away for some reason. I don't even understand it sometimes. And there it is. There's the end of the last, the last regular level. And we got a fire flower for beating it. Oh, that was me screwing up. I was hoping for a star, but I didn't get a star. 
Hey, they need help at the castle, but they can wait so I can play memory. Alright. Let's flip some cards. Let's see what we got. Got a 20 coin and a 1-up. If I remember correctly... Star, star? Yeah. Fire, flower, fire... Dang it, I was wrong. Oh, I ruined that game of memory. Let's go to the castle instead. And Oh my god, it's a spider. Hate spiders. Keep that king away from me. I swear to god, I, I hate spiders. I'm sorry. I'm, I freaking hate spiders. Snakes, I'm okay with. I love snakes. Spiders, no. <laughs> Most... Uh, not most bugs, but spiders especially, I don't know. They just freak me out. I just think they're going to bite me, and I don't like being bitten. People do not get to bite me. All right, here we are. We're on the second airship. This one is more challenging than the last one. It, it does include a new character who I will introduce you to now. This is Rocky Wrench. Basically, if you play whack-a-mole with these guys, they're absolutely no threat at all. But if you don't, they'll throw wrenches at you, and nobody likes that. All right. Yeah, you gotta you gotta watch out for that guy. He does have a tendency to be bad, but if you there's a neat, there's a very simple strategy that you can use in order to not get hurt by that guy ever. But he is a new character introduced here. In fact, we're about to run into him. But this this one is slightly more challenging, although in all reality, it's not. But yeah, just. Anytime you see those three holes, that's usually where these moles are going to be, and you can just stomp on their heads at uh, regular intervals, and they'll never be able to get off a shot on you. Let's see, anything special hidden here? Nope. Alright, we're going to go down. We've got to face Morty Koopa Jr. I'm excited for that, guys. I'm going to face Morton Koopa Jr., a.k.a. Jelly Roll Morton. You get bonus points if you know who that is. Because I didn't. I just... I always love naming these guys special, like, celebrity names. And I looked up Morton, and there wasn't exactly lots. Unless you want to count the uh, mouse from Morton Years of Who. But I don't count those, usually. So I named him Jelly Roll Morton. And if you know who that is, good, good for you. But we got his wand, and now we're falling to our death again. Mario seems to like to do that after destroying airships. And we saved the king and his... Oh my god, that guy's got an awesome mustache. Oh, thank heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. And the princess sent us a letter with a cloud. This cloud is actually a very, very useful item. If you're having trouble getting through a level, uh, you can use the cloud to skip that level for a short period of time, as long as you beat the next level on your first try. Because if you don't, you're gonna have to go back, and you've already you wasted a cloud, basically. Here we are. We're in the third world of the game, Ocean Side, the ocean water level. In case you couldn't tell, it includes lots and lots of water. It's a good thing that we have our fire flower too, because we're gonna need it before we head into the first level. We've got a new character to introduce you to, so. Let's go ahead and do that now. This is a blooper. The squid will follow you around everywhere, and it is one of my least favorite enemies ever. Mostly because he originates underwater. <coughs> Alright, first secret of this level is right down here. There's a special little question block. I never knew that until I watched the Let's Play of this game, so... I feel like an idiot for telling you that, because... Nope, I've known that all along. Yeah. I really didn't. But that's that's gonna be very helpful, and that's there he is, the freaking squid. Nobody likes you, squid. I wanna try to I'm trying to kill a squid, because those squids can be so annoying. You've got to kill them. They follow you. And they're and I mean water levels are always the worst levels ever in Mario games. Mostly because of the way they do them. I freaking hate water levels. I just want to see if I can go down any of these pipes. Nope. Right here, there should be a fire flower. Yes, let's go ahead and grab that. We got some coins. Right, now, usually when you have to swim up to get up to a place, you're going to be in trouble. But in this instance, you're okay, I think. Oh, it's a little squid and his babies, and I killed them all. I'm such a nice guy. 
Alright, I think one of these has an item in it. I could be completely wrong. I think I am completely wrong. I don't think there's anything in any of these items. Nope. Just a bunch of... Uh, just a bunch of blocks. But we do get a one-up for going down here. Always be sure to come down here. This is where you gotta look out, because there's a blooper and he hit me, you stupid little... Jenna. Freaking hate those. Squids are probably the worst freaking enemies in the entire game just because of the way they are. I hate them. I hate them so much. Alright. Level 2. We can do this one. This one's not that bad, especially if you have a fire flower, which we're about to get right now. It's based, it's just a bunch of cheap cheeps trying to jump at you and hurt you and kill you. And I have a tendency to cheat like this and just randomly throw fireballs in the general direction of where I'm going, because no cheap cheap can hit you as long as you do that, for the most part. Let's get that coin there. Well, you, you, I mean, you destroy all the cheap cheeps. None of them hurt you at all. Oh, no! No! I need back on! I need back on! Oh, I'm good. As long as that cheap cheap cup doesn't come back. Gotta contend with that fire shooting plant. Oh, my goodness. I thought we could have been in trouble there. I wanna kill that. I wanna kill that. I gotta kill that cheap cheap. I freaking hate fish. Everything that comes in a water level is absolute hell. I hate them all. Got another one up. We're up to 20... 20 lives. Like I said, they're very, very generous with these. Let's go into this mushroom house before we take on our last level before putting the parts. And this next level sucks. Ooh, that will come in handy soon. That's the frog suit. It is. It uh, basically makes the uh, swimming portions of the game, the underwater portions of the game, so much better. All right, here we go. We're in level three, featuring brand new enemy who you just saw, so I'll introduce her now. This is Big Bertha. She probably originates from Soviet Russia, because you don't eat her, she eats you. This is without a doubt one of my least favorite enemies ever. Hate you, Bertha. Oh, I lost my fire flower while I was introducing. I got hurt while I was introducing. I am in trouble. Alright. You gotta time this. Now. Gotta be careful, careful, careful. Oh, he ate me! I hate you, Bertha! I hate you! We can do this. We can do it. It's okay. It can and it will be done. As long as Bertha doesn't eat me again. Do not eat me, Bertha. Do not eat me. Oh, I lost it. Bertha's gonna eat- oh, we're good. I mean, if there's an enemy that I hated as a kid, it was Bertha. Everybody hated Bertha. Don't eat me, Bertha. But then we can cheat we can get this POW block, which is basically gonna allow us to skip most of the level without having to go into the water. If we can get all the way across... He ate me again! I thought I was gonna make it! Oh. What kind of a fish eats humans? This is like a freaking Soviet Russia thing. In Soviet Russia, you know eat fish. Fish eat you. We've done it. We've made it to Soviet freaking Russia. Alright, we should be able to get this mushroom this time. Jump. If I can get that fire flower now, before Bertha eats me. No, no, he... Oh. That, that, that was, that was bad. You know what? I'm gonna go practice. And then we'll beat, we'll kick Bertha's butt in part four. So that's gonna be it for part three. We're gonna end on a failure. I usually don't like to do that, but I have to. Because we're running low on time. Thank you very much for watching and sticking through me through those failures with Bertha. She ate me three times. I hate Bertha. But... Be sure to like the part, favorite, not favorite, don't even favorite, don't favorite this, this is terrible, don't, 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 whatever you do, don't favorite this part, you know, like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, in the next part, we will beat Bertha, and she will die, I will eat her, I will cook her up on a platter and eat her, 
So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time.